Hello and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer. No, please. Oh, thank you. No, that's too much. I, no, please. This, stop. Just stop. No more. Stop it right now. Please. I don't. <clears throat> you're, you're thinking too highly of me, and I need you not to. Ooh, Alan7011 has received a warning. Language, please. What did you say, Alan? Yes, thank you. I'm assuming that's not it. But yeah, I've been gone for quite some time, and I, you know what, I am sorry about that. I am so sorry. I've just been working on project after project after project. I got the new computer. I don't know if I put out an episode talking about that. Uh, but I got a new computer. I've been setting that up. Then it was Thanksgiving. Then it was Christmas. And now we're here. So, we made it, guys. It's 2017. 2016 is over. The nightmare is ogre. We don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, no more bad things. So 2017 is the good year. This is going to make up for the past year. So 2017 is actually going to be too... What is happening here? Say your prayers. Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to kill him on the first try. But, yeah. 2017 is going to be our year. Th this is the year that we win it. That we, you know, we risk it. We risked it. Now we're going to get the biscuit. The bidskit. We risked it, now we're going to get the biz bid skit. Um, I've got some money here. I just got some loans paid back. So we are going to have some serious fun times. I got my sheeps. Less than uh, 150 sheeps in here. Let's see if I made any gold. Let's see how this year is treating us so far. Hey, thanks for showing up, by the way. As you can see, there's a whole new um, layout to the channel. I have no gold. As you can see, there's a whole new layout to the channel. Um... I got my logo up there now. You see it up there, up on the top of the thingy. It's the new logo. Uh, you know, I, I like the introduction that I had before. I worked really hard on it, but as of right now, I don't have an introduction just because you know it's uh, it's I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like I was trying too hard. You guys deserve more from me, honestly. No, no, for real, no, seriously. I think you guys deserve more from me, and yeah, it's just. I'm sorry. Let me say that. Let me just say that I'm sorry for everything that I put you through. For all the nightmares, all the the pain, everything. So I'm, I'm going to kill myself here. This has nothing to do with what I was talking about, by the way. I'm just, you know. There we go. And I'm back. That's just because I was dying. So I'm back. But yeah, you guys deserve more. You guys deserve more from me. Oh, Wolf Detonation. This guy's my bro. Yes, sir. Thank you. Cool. So, whoops. That's wrong person, dude. Yeah, been gone a bit. Uh, message wool. Yeah, wolf detonation. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, um, I. A lot of cool stuff is going on. I got my new... Do you give loans? Um... What are you looking for loan-wise? I normally don't give loans. And this is interesting because it's in recording, so I don't have to take pictures. Thanks for giving me that chance. No problem, Wolf. Yeah, I, I lent Wolf like 345k. Oh my gosh. That is trust right there. It's pretty big amounts, but I have good credit. Let me just red swag for the due date. He can vouch for me. How long have you been on the server, Broski? I guess this is the how to uh, how to loan money episode. How to Hello Miners since early 2016. <sighs> Man, it's a pain because I really don't know you that well, Red. Like around March. Uh, you're still a fairly new player on the scene. I don't know you that well. I don't really feel comfortable giving you a loan like that. Uh. Sorry. I'm just really picky with my loans. 
So I can't now. Sorry. I just got paid back by another player. Man, how oxymoronical is that going to be when I'm like, yeah, I just did a bunch of loans, really cool, got all that money back. And then he's like, can I have a loan? I'm like, no, absolutely not. Was it because of my join date? No, it's just because I've never really given out loans. Oh, what does that mean? I hate when people respond with O. Oh. You ever text someone where like you'll text them and they just respond with O? Oh. To me, O oh is the equivalent of OK. I have no idea what that means. No idea. Absolutely no. No um, positive or negative connotations. I'd say if anything, it's a negative connotation. But, you know, I don't know. You guys want to play? You are here to watch. Can someone sub for Mr. Wayne 1? Also got to say, while I've been gone, they changed the color of the... Uh, what is it called? Not Premiere, not Prime. Premium. They changed the color of the premium members' names. I am not a fan, gotta say. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not it's not a below average game of video unless I cough in the middle of a sentence. So now it's official, guys. But yeah, not a big fan. I like I like the cyan coloring. I don't really care for this um piss yellow. Not really a not really a fan. But yeah, so I was uh, going to try to do some live streaming, and I decided against it, just because it's a pain. I have some really bad memories with the live streaming. If, you, if you've been on the server, not on the server, if you've been on my channel for a while, then you probably know I've had some just really rough times with live streaming. Um, no audio, too much audio, not enough video, too much video, if you catch my drift. Mm -hmm. You might want to go check out those other episodes. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it, I want to because I know it'd be fun. I know it'd be exciting. I know it'd bring a ton of new people for, to the channel. But it's just, it was a pain for me. And I, I don't, I don't really. Uh, what is this? Yes, whatever. Um, Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's really just me being boring for the sake of being boring maybe i'll do some live streams in the future just let me know uh comment down below if you want me to do some more live streams i usually just give stuff away on the live streams i'll just be like hey uh who who wants like a thousand dollars and someone's like i do and i'm like all right well here's two thousand hey hey and i give away all of my hard-earned cash because i'm just I'm just a generous guy oh look there's an iron ball tournament going on so that, oh shoot, I remember, I was going to fix that Because I don't know what happened there Oh, I know what happened there Someone broke into my facility Because I guess there was like one row of wool That wasn't regioned before Weird enough Um, And it was during one of my breaks Where I was gone for like two months And I came back and that was all just destroyed Right? This is the wrong portal Didn't want to use this portal Or did I? Came out of here Went over there. No, this is the wrong portal. I'm a I'm a big dumb dummy. Let's go in here. Yeah, there's not much to do. I just wanted to, you know, announce to you guys like I am back. Things are going great. Some would say phenomenally. My marriage is good. I haven't seen Doctor Strange yet, so I feel like I'm not wasting money. Spider, they're illegal in IB. What is it? What, what's illegal in IB? What's happening? Oh, too bad. Uh, is there speed sticks? No, those are illegal. What? You absolute monster. The absolute madman. There we go. Yeah, so I'm back. Um, so, villager eggs. Are you off only through the weekend at Wolfie's RC? I should buy some. I think I will. You know, I think I'm going to buy all of them. Maybe. Possibly. I might look at the price and be like, what? That's insane. I'm going to change my mind. Warp RC. Prepare for the lag. Woo! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Here we are. Um, message Wolf. Where's your shop? 
Bruh. Oh, I see him. I think he's at his shop right now. That's my assumption. Bow, bow, bow. Only up to 50% off. There it is. Here's what I want. That Warp RC front square plot. Extra freshes. That's what I want. This is my... Hot damn. This is my jam. One for 600. I want it, but everyone gets those. And I don't want to be... I don't want to be another statistic. Is the problem. <laughs> I'm gonna come here. I'm just gonna click these like a madman. As long as they're under, if they're under a thousand each, uh, I'm gonna say mm, no, because thousand still a lot. Let's say if they're under like five hundred. Whoa, that's insane. Whoa. Never mind. Five thousand. What? Are you serious? I mean, dang, dude, that's 30% off? What did you put in the thing? What did it say? Where's the... Uh, sale of Vegetrike, 37% off only through the weekend. At Wolfie's. 37% off of 5,000. Okay, so 5,000 times 2 is 10,000. Bring that down. The minus 37, minus half of that. 17... So that's minus 1,700. So that would be uh, 3,700, 3,300, I want to say. 3,300. That's absolutely ludicrous. Oh my good golly gosh, that is absolutely bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. What's down here? Whoa. Silk Touch Efficiency Unbreaking 3, 1,000. Looks like someone is trying to steal my business. What's this? Whoa. Secret room. Secret room. Secret room. Just trying to kill myself. Oh, I didn't hit the sound effect. That was my dying sound. Okay, cool. So, um, someone's trying to steal my business. I gotta get more, some more M's. So let's do that. Let's make some sh Oh my gosh. I really only have eight emeralds? OMG, 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 it's really you. It's really me! I'm here! I'm alive! OMG, yes. I feel like that's a proper response. I don't have... I don't have any emeralds? Really? I only have eight? What have I been doing with my life? Oh! Speaking with... What have I been doing with my life? What is it? I'm um, speaking with what have I been doing with my life. Um, I watched a series of unfortunate events. The one on Netflix. Gotta say. Was. Wasn't great. It's a pain for me to say that. I don't want to say that. But it wasn't great. Yeah, series of fortune events, not fantastic, not wonderful. Uh, warp RC. Let's make a new shop so I can buy some emeralds. Okay, so some emeralds to make some more money. Ba ba ba. So if you see this, go and sell me some emeralds. That's not me. I'm over there. But um, any good with villager breeders? By the way, what do you mean any good? Um, just give them bread and wheat. Make sure there's plenty of frisky farmers. Hey, hey, hey. Um, already made that. Sick. I'm one jump ahead. Uh, uh, I'm not doing great. Okay. Um. Ha ba ba baby boo ba. Cause I'm blue and I would. Ooh, this is nice. This is new. Whose is this while I've been gone? Oh, you take. Well, well, well. Well, my farmers aren't really frisky. Only have two and no luck yet. Hmm. IDK. 
course it's you, Tay. How much per emerald here? Ten! What? Oh, because he's making a chance. So obviously he's going to be like, oh yeah. No idea what that is. Five thousand. Should I buy one? I'm not going to buy one. You're free to take a look for me. Not a problem. How much for this? One emerald block for 60. It's a little over six per emerald. Funny about the shop you're in. Sure. So I paid 60 for nine. I feel like this is a bad idea. I feel like I'm losing money right now. Um, suicide. Man, a lot of people are wanting to talk to me right now while I'm recording. Not a bad thing. Um, it's just, yeah. Loaned him 350k. Wow. Loans have seriously gone up. When I played before, I feel like all the loans were like 10,000. And even that was like stretching it. One jump ahead of the lawman. One swing ahead of the sword. I steal. I don't want to get sued by Disney. Oh, I got one, two, one, two. Oh, sick. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make a snowman. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna get sued by Disney again. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do I have any snowman... Things? Come on, let's go and play. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I at least need a shovel. Let's do this. Someone's sending me a snap. Someone is sending me a snap who I rarely even talk to. And that makes me uncomfortable. Not a fan. Um, I don't have any shovels. You know where I often put my important things? I often put my important things in like these two chests over here, or these four chests here. And I haven't checked here yet. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not a thing. Okay. None. Nine. Nyet. No. Nada. Rabbit's foot. Um, nothing. Sell so we'll our C50% off. Ends this Monday. What? What? There's nothing. I, oh. I'm trying to trying to find my things, but yeah. Um. Oh wait. I saw. Um. I saw a series of unfortunate events. Ah, ah. And it wasn't great. Here's here's. Uh. Let's. Okay. Look. Okay. Look. Okay. Let's. Uh. Okay. Listen. Here's why. Here, look here. Why? Here's why. Why? Because of here. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Um. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't really need any snow, do I? Got a ton there. I shouldn't get an axe, though. Um, it was very. Some would say uncomfortably similar to the movie. Very similar to the movie. What? Yes, very. Um. To the point of, and I'll say this, similar to the, is this the right one? That's not it. Um, similar enough to the point that I will say, you could tell they're trying really hard to make it like the movie. I don't want to say that. Sounds really bad. But um, the whole time I was watching it, I had, it was similar enough that I could not help but compare it to the movie. So, um, I'm doing that, but it's not, it's really not matching up to the movie. Like, it's, 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 it's a good show. It's hard to explain. Oh my gosh. I'm just realizing that now. Um, it, it was a good show, but due to the fact that it was so similar to the movie in virtually every way, I could not help but compare it to the movie, which it was not going to live up to. I love Neil Patrick Harris with a bloody passion deep in my loins, but... Um, he's no Jim Carrey. And Jim Carrey was perfect for the role of Count Olaf. Fan frackin' tastic. He was funny, he was kooky, he was tall, he matched the body type, he matched the face shape, 
He matched the charisma, the wild and crazy charisma. It was great. And Neil Patrick Harris plays it very subtly, which would have been awesome, which would have been great had the other movie not come out. Had the, had the orig- I should say, as if the original movie had not come out. Because this one's really great, but the other one is so much better. And this show had a lot to live up to. And I feel like they overhyped it. Now, let me say this. I think that overhyping something is the best way to kill it. You can kill any movie by overhyping it. You can kill any TV show by overhyping it. You can kill any video game, any book, any play, any comic, anything like that by overhyping it. And I feel like it's one of the leading cause, uh, causes of death in entertainment is overhyping something. I'll tell you this. Rogue One, not very memorable. Again, so I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on it. But Rogue One, not very memorable. To me, at least. Um, I, I can tell you this. I saw the movie, and then like a week later, someone was talking about it. And I had to think to my... I had to take a second thought and think, did I see that movie? Oh, yeah, I did. I did see that movie. Huh. I forgot that I'd seen it. I completely forgot that I'd seen it because it wasn't as memorable as I feel it should have been. Because, and here's the other thing, I feel like it was, I feel like an idiot, I feel like it was underhyped. They didn't hype Rogue One enough. They had the commercials, but it wasn't like uh, Force Awakens where it was everywhere. And it was like, this is going to be a great movie. Come, come watch this movie. I... I thought that that was my door. I thought someone was going to break in and kill me right now. I thought that I thought that my neighbor was a huge Star Wars fan, heard me talking crap, and was like going to bust down my door. Um, but no, I, I... I'm so mad that I have to say these things. Um, Force Awakens was good. Force Awakens was perfect. I think they hyped it just right amount because they they super hyped it, but it's it was going to be a huge movie, and they knew that, absolutely knew that. However, Rogue One, they hardly hyped it at all. I think it's because they were scared that people were going to be disappointed. They were scared of overhyping. So they underhyped it. And it came out. And I was like, I don't even remember if I saw that movie. Because I don't remember being very excited for it. But um, a series of unfortunate events TV show on Netflix. What's the what's the uh, acronym for that going to be? A series of unfortunate. Asawi. I saw, I saw Asawi. And I felt like that's what, I should, what they should have told me was, I, I'm sorry. Because they, they hyped it up so much. And then it came out. And it was just the feel to the movie in every way is like... I feel, The feel of this show in every way is almost like, a, like they couldn't afford to do what they wanted. Like the scenes in the first episode and everything are set up to look like a Wes Anderson movie. To make it look almost like Wes Anderson. Like to where you're supposed to think like... Oh my gosh, did Wes Anderson direct this? Did they get Wes Anderson to direct this TV show? If you don't know who Wes Anderson is, he did um, Moonrise Kingdom. He did uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. He did The Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah, he did, he did a lot of movies. But it's that same feel. He did Rushmore. And you can tell if they're trying to go for that feel. But to the point where I can tell that someone in that meeting said, Oh, what if it was kind of like a Wes Anderson movie? And then the next person just screamed, Brilliant! We're going to make everything Wes Anderson-esque. It's going to look just like Wes Anderson did it. We, anyone can do it. I can steal that design. And we'll make a ton of money off of it. <laughs> Netflix executive number one. But it's it's not. Like, I can tell exactly that that's exactly what happened. Was someone was like, Oh, Wes Anderson would be perfect for this. And then they just tried to to mock that style and all the parts that aren't mocking Wes Anderson style pretty much or aren't trying to steal that style are just like I don't know they're, they're, the rest of it is trying to just do exactly what the movie did they're either trying to steal Wes Anderson stuff or they're trying to do exactly what the movie did and I understand the movie was very close to the book so it's very hard because you want to be true to the book without getting away from the actual story but I I I I I I I I I I I I I I don't know. Here's the thing. Just remixed that one, but I don't know because it's so. I don't know. It's 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 disappointing. 
I'll put it that way. It's just disappointing. That's kind of why I'm, I'm excited for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. If it's still coming out, I've heard no more information on it since hearing that it might potentially exist. But, you know, where am I? What am I doing? Um... That's not going to disappear, right? Okay. Um, I'm excited for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie because I've heard, like, nothing about it. And I feel like that's part of the mystery is the fact of, like, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's is all about this lore, all about this, uh, these secrets. And they've done really well to keep the entire working on the thing a secret. And I'm like, you know, that's pretty meta. I, I like that. I appreciate the fact that um, they're working so hard. There was one right here. Are you kidding me? Um, I appreciate the fact that so much effort is being made to stay true to, um, is it this one? I think it's that warp. I don't remember. Fingers crossed. Yes. Um, I like that. I like that so much effort is being made to, um, what was I saying? There's so much effort is being made to keep things secret, to keep that lore a healthy part of the story. I appreciate that. That is awesome, because that's what makes that story. Now, that being said, very similarly, uh, that's what makes a part of the series of unfortunate events, is that lore, is that secret society stuff. All the craziness that goes on in the background of the actual story. And... <sighs> It's in the first episode, I'll say that, because they ruin it for you there. All that craziness of, like, secret society type stuff is in the first episode. Of, like, oh yeah, by the way, um, keep watching, because this is going to be something crazy and big at the end. And that was the cool thing about the stories, was you didn't know until you got to the end, and everything started to come together. You got that, that feeling of, like, yes... I stuck it through, I watched the whole thing, and I figured out the secret. That's part of the thing that made uh, the other Netflix original, uh, Stranger Things, so popular, was the fact that it was weird and kind of confusing at first. But if you stuck to it, it paid off in this big, crazy, dramatic reveal halfway through the series of uh, the Upside Down and all that cool stuff. But in this one... Um, in, in a series of unfortunate events, they're like, you know what, let's just give them all the secrets now. And it's like, no, if anything, you should have kept the secrets because you already have a fan base. You already have people who've been waiting for this show for a long time. People have been so excited ever since they first announced that this was going to come out. Um, even before they said that this was going to come out, people always thought, like, it'd be really cool if they, t if they did a series of unfortunate events TV show or just a sequel to the original movie. And, you know, you have this fan base. Take advantage of that. Do I have a hole there? No, I just mismatched. Um, take advantage of that fan base and saying, like, you know, these people will stick around to see the big finale, the big ending, if we do it right. But instead they said, let's just give away the ending now to get those new people in. And it's like, if you would have just stuck with it, you may not have the top views now because you're just getting the people who were already going to wait and see it. But in the end, you're at the end of season, let's say season one, um, any secrets that you give out are going to be like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I'm proud to call myself a fan because I'm one of the people who stuck it out. But now there is none of that. Now there's no one who can be proud of sticking it through because that secret is right in your face on episode one. The whole idea of a secret society, the whole idea of uh, something underneath the actual story going on is all right there in your face. There's no reason for you to be um, a fan. There's no reason for you to stay connected to the story because you watch for episode one, you already know what's going on. You don't have that whole thing of like, oh, well, maybe I can just wait. If I wait, I'll get this big reveal. Oh, five on the first hit? Dang. I'll get this big reveal. There's no, there's, there's, there's nothing worth waiting for. I, I can see that. They've given us nothing worth waiting for. Am I going to continue to watch it? Yes. Is it great? No. Is... There's so many issues with it. And I'm just hoping they find a way to fix. Because... 
I'm just downright disappointed. I understand how my dad feels now whenever he talks to me and he says, you know what, son? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. But yeah, there's that. So now I'm, I'm working on making some, some zombie eggs now because I have enough to cure two zombies. So hopefully one of those will be a uh, scientist or a librarian. I don't know what you call them. I call them scientists because they're wearing lab coats. But hopefully... Well, I guess now with the new zombie uh, villager skins, I can actually tell what kind it is, and I can, like, kill them, and I can heal just the scientists. Ooh, I might do that. Because they're not really breeding anymore. I mean, that'd be great for breeding, but facts is facts. I have no idea how long I've been recording. If I'm, like, an hour and a half in, I am so sorry. I'm just, I'm just wanting to get this done. How about this? I will make one zombie. Once I've made one zombie, we can all go on our merry way. So let me just uh, do this thing there, and then we'll be good. Okay. Okay. Can we all agree on that? In fact, I'm gonna do it the easy way. I'm gonna do it on this on this track here. Toot toot. All aboard the Party Express. Staying home alone, playing Minecraft, talking to people who can't talk back to me. That's what I call a hot Saturday night. I did get this new computer. Really pumped. I got it on a deal from Best Buy. Best Buy gave me the deal. You know, they gave it's a thousand dollars. Jesus. It's a thousand dollars. I don't want to say that anymore. It's a large sum of money that I've previously said and you get a computer as well as the Oculus Rift. Isn't that cool? Because the Oculus by itself is 700 so I basically got a super power computer for $300. What? Are you jealous? Because you should be. If not, I don't know why the heck I bought this thing. But cool, because I get to do all this stuff and I don't have to worry about lag, I don't have to worry about like, hey, your video looks like garbage, man. I'm like, hey, be nice to me. I'm working really hard. This is supposed to be my safe place. No. I can actually be like doing stuff like this. I also got this new microphone for Christmas. Thank you to my wife. Wherever you are, please come home soon. I miss you. Um, but yeah. Totally sickness. Some might even say it's so sick that it's diseased. It's the wrong button. There we go. I'm not going to worry about pulling these uh, together. I should because I need to save space. So I forget what I just said. I'm going to pull these together and then I'll mosey on out of here. Hopefully make a, a, a librarian zombie. Because if not. Oh boy, if not. I just don't want to waste the golden apple. I can make as many potions as I want. <sighs> I just don't want to waste the golden apple. Because that gold is hard to come by. That's probably why it's gold. Okay, I'm not going to worry about any of this. Boop, sloop, slop, sloop, slap, slip, up, blop, but up, boop, boop, boop. This is all I want right here. There you go. Someone please forward my message. Let's go and try. I'm getting so tired. Oh my gosh. I could not sleep last night. I don't know what was wrong with me. I felt itchy, but I wasn't itchy. I knew I knew that I wasn't itchy. I knew that it was just my brain for some reason telling my body, hey man, guess what? You're like crazy itchy. No, stop it. No, stop it. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to get anything. I only have 18 eggs. If I don't get it, what? Oh, I forgot that you're... Okay, cool, technically we did it. Oh my gosh, what are you guys doing in here? Get the heck out of here. No, don't hide the... Oh my gosh, that's why you're here. No! Oh, you monster! Oh, I want that guy to stay in there too. Where is he? He's just hanging out right here on the corner. And he, I hate you so much. What do you trade? Oh, you're a shearer. 
Damn it, you're useful. Okay. You get to live. Okay, if I don't get a, a villager, I'm gonna go buy an egg. How's that? That way I get a villager regardless this episode. So Wolf, I, I know you're hoping that I get nothing. Boom, 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 bang, 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 yay, yay, what, you, you, you crazy scamp, you, okay, boom, okay, last one, and nothing. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Why are you so scared of me? I'm not going to do anything to you. Okay. Wolf, you win this round. I'm going to... I'm going to buy a single egg from you. But just know, and I hope you're watching this, so you know that I don't want to. Freaking monster. I swear, if this is not a librarian, I'm going to be possessed. Okay, let's do this. In fact, I am I believe in myself so much, I'm going to put him in an actual door. Boom. I hate you so much. Oh, I want to dead. How come your name's purple? Your name's not purple. Do I have any that actually came from an egg? Whose name would be purple like that? I don't have any who came from an actual egg. Do I? Let me see. Weep. I know there's some in here. No, none of these came from villager eggs. They all came from zombie eggs. Well, there you have it. Disappointment. Um, it's not a how to hello miners below average gaming video. Um, unless someone's disappointed. And in this case, it's you and me together. We're in this just like the wildcats. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everything you're doing. Thanks. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you. Bye.